When rockfish are pulled from the deep waters in Puget Sound where they live, the sudden change in pressure pushes their eyes out of the socket and their stomachs bulge out of their mouths. It's not a pretty scene. That's why scientists are trying to figure out how to reduce the number of threatened species accidentally hooked by anglers. So they took environmental reporter Allison Morrow to test different kinds of bait for lingcod fishing to see which methods catch fewer of the protected rockfish. Put the hook in back behind the head. Frozen herring is the first of three bait types we're testing today, and immediately it's clear they are great for catching rockfish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We totaled 16 rockfish in 90 minutes, and that would be good news if rockfish weren't a protected species that are illegal to take out of Puget Sound. Well, rockfish are a really important part of the sound. Steve Kessling's Adventure Charters is contracting with federal scientists to protect rockfish. In just four decades, Puget Sound's rockfish have declined by 70 percent. We want to reduce as much mortality on these, these species as possible. Kelly Andrews is a research fisheries biologist with Northwest Fisheries Science Center. He and others want to know how fishermen can stop accidentally hooking rockfish. The fish live deep in the water and have swim bladders that expand when brought up to the surface quickly. They can expand so big their stomachs are pushed out of their mouths and their eyeballs out of the socket. And then when you get it up to the surface and you can't keep it, you need to release it. But with that balloon, the fish just can't, it doesn't have enough strength to get down to the bottom on its own. We used what's called a descender to force them back down where their swim bladder will recompress. Our next bait to test is live large bait fish called sand ab. We only caught two rockfish this time and three lingcod in the same 90 minutes. Finally, we tested an artificial lure. We caught three rockfish and just one lingcod, which was the one I hooked myself. What did I get? It's a ling. Yeah! Yeah! Okay. That's what you want. Now what do I do? <laughs> Celebrate. Nice. Wow, okay, that was 100% my fish. Rockfish can live to be more than 120 years old and don't reproduce until their late teenage years. Once they're lost, it's tough to get them back. And that worries Kessling, who's been fishing here for more than 40 years. And in that time, I've seen the limits on rockfish, what was a quite a bountiful fishery, get reduced from 15 fish per person to 12 to 10 to 8 to 5, 3, 1, and then zero rockfish. And hopefully, through studies like this and conservation of rockfish, we'll see these fish rebound, stay here, and maybe one day my grandchildren will be fishing for them again. On Puget Sound, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.